All right, so that's some of the basics that has to do with your appearance and how you show up on Zoom. Now I wanna get into some of the really cool things that they've done since the recent updates. And that's something here called Zoom Apps. Now Zoom Apps are apps that integrate directly into a Zoom meeting. How fun is that? Um, and they just have so many different features. Now, for the purpose of this training, I did not download any Zoom apps into my personal account, but we're gonna go ahead and check out what are some of these Zoom apps that can be used. And again, I just wanna reiterate something here that I'm focusing on sharing with you the, you know, the apps that are gonna be the best suited for insurance and financial advisors to have very successful meetings. So while there are so many apps out there, I'm just gonna focus on the ones that could make the biggest difference for you in converting prospects. So the first thing you wanna do is hop over to the Zoom app marketplace, but be careful, there are a couple of different ones. Uh, the one that I have here open, which is basically just four pages, here I am on the third page, let's hop over to the first page, is just four pages long, these are apps that natively will work inside your Zoom account. And there are some really, really fun ones. For example, they have a native heads up account, uh, heads up uh, one. Zoom has actually added their own virtual backgrounds from over 2 million high resolution images. So now, listen guys, there's no more room for sandy beaches, okay? You gotta get a little more creative. That was way back in 2020. I'm actually going to show you guys some of the Zoom apps that I think would be really helpful for you as an insurance or financial advisor. All right, so the first one is Warmly. Now, this is AI business cards by Warmly. So look how interesting this is. So imagine having a coffee meeting and you come up to somebody and you have a fully customized Zoom background. You have a headshot, your name, um, what your title is, uh, how to pronounce your name. Like I know I go through that all the time with a last name like Demeray. I get called everything. Where you are and something interesting about you. I love cats and dogs equally. So imagine downloading this app and using it in different ways. It also has a nice virtual business card. People can click on it while they're in the meeting and they can connect with you on LinkedIn. So for those of you that are in our Shift Accelerator program, this is a must have. You will absolutely love having this app inside Zoom so that you can build a deeper connection and actually have on your Zoom app details about that person that are pulled automatically from LinkedIn. How cool is that? Um, you can even like message people that you're running late. You can pre-meeting pop in and out of meetings. And there's a lot of other features that are really fun, but I think the one that's the most important for advisors is this, a really cool background and the ability to know a little more about the person you're with. Really, really cool stuff. And hey, best part is it's absolutely free. All right, now of course, why would you be a um, savage on LinkedIn and not have LinkedIn video meetings? For example, did you know that you can create video meetings inside of your LinkedIn account? Yes, you can absolutely do that if you have your Zoom meeting integrated. So you definitely wanna have this. You can even be inside LinkedIn and schedule a meeting with somebody using this app. It's an absolutely perfect app, especially for people who are prospecting via LinkedIn. You can see a little demo here of what it looks like. Um, you, when somebody agrees to meet with you, you can actually drop the Zoom link right there. Now, no, having done this thousands and thousands of times with advisors from all over the world, I just wanna make sure that you know that if you do drop those links in there, make sure you always send one via the Google Calendar feature as well, because people tend not to check their LinkedIn inboxes all the time, and it's not usually the friendliest inbox, so searching for that link again is gonna get a little bit lost. Now, in terms of productivity, how could you not integrate Slack into your Zoom meetings? We are huge believers in Slack. We run on Slack here. We almost never email each other at Advisorist. It's almost always Slack meetings. And now you can actually integrate Zoom directly into Slack. Now, I kind of have a feeling that uh, Zoom is gonna lose a little bit more market share as of the last Slack update that has now added video, which is actually working pretty buggy free um, inside the Slack feature. Uh, but if you're really a diehard Zoomer and you wanna have those Slack integrations, then this could probably be a really great time saver where you just can instantly drop a link or even type 
forward slash Zoom and it'll start a meeting or you can even add topics. There's a whole bunch of other cool stuff in here. All right, another cool feature that I love and they've really done a great job with is their share screen enhancements. So what Zoom has done is they've really upgraded their ability to be able to show screens and apps and really anything you've got running. So for example, the standard thing to do is to share your screen, right? Well, I've got two screens running right now, but have you ever tried sharing a whiteboard? How cool is this thing? Now with a whiteboard, basically you and your attendees, I'm gonna drag over here the annotation feature, you and your attendees can illustrate things. You could talk about you know, the increase of returns, you could talk about when the market crashes, you can uh, illustrate, let's actually go ahead and clear all that, but uh, you can type things on the screen. I actually just used this the other day. We were, I was brainstorming with a $100 million company and I said, do you guys mind if I just kind of bring up my, my Zoom here and we can brainstorm together? And they're like, oh yeah, I didn't even know I could do that. So, you know, you can use straight features if you're not good at drawing with a mouse, which I don't think anybody is. You can illustrate concepts like this, like, like for example, the bucket plan, right? That's one idea you could do. You could have field shapes as well. You can draw circles. Um, you can have arrows pointing to things like, look at this, this could be you. And, you know, when you break out of that ceiling, you're tax free, right? You can do a whole bunch of that kind of stuff. Uh, you can spotlight things as well. You could do a vanishing pen so it only lasts for a few seconds. Um, you can point to things. So let's say you have multiple people on the line. You're like, hey, uh, what about this? And the other person's over here, sure, but how does that relate to that? You see, you've got stamps like you could put hearts like I love these things or put permanent arrows that can't be deleted as well. You can have X's. You get the idea, right? Um, you can even change the, the color of things if you like and adjust the font sizes. I'm not gonna to spend too much time into that because we've all probably used something similar, but that's a really great feature to do illustrative uh, concepts, especially when you're dealing with money. A couple other things that you can do is you can just share one specific thing. Like I actually have Camtasia open on another screen and if I choose to share it, it's only gonna share the Camtasia window. So no matter what size my, uh, Camtasia is taken up on my screen, it's going to only show that window and nothing behind it. Uh, here's another really cool feature. Make sure you always uh, do this is if you're going to share a video, you always want to click share sound. This way the sound will come directly from the computer into the Zoom meeting as opposed to people hearing it from their speakers. I've seen this done way too many times, even in front of groups of thousands of people. So it's a good little hack to keep in mind, especially if you're gonna have like a little intro video for your webinar or you have a, a small, maybe an explainer video that talks about a money concept. All right, let's look at some of these advanced features that very few people use. And there's only a few I wanna focus on. Uh, first of all is computer audio. You can actually play music in the background. So let's do this. So I happen to have a lounge soft house mix that I love to use on Spotify. If I wanted to put background music, all I'd have to do is go over here, click on share sound, computer audio, and hit share. And then once I play my Spotify soundtrack, the music will come through beautifully for everybody on the line. All right, moving right along to the next share. So the other one is you could share files. So if you integrate, let's say you have a, a certain document or people always say, send me information, or I wanna see this illustration, or you've got people's, let's say, financial uh, profiles developed and you store them online, you can integrate with your Google Drive and share the document with that. So thank you, Zoom, for moving everything over to the cloud. We absolutely love you for it. Now, the final feature I wanna talk about that has gotten a lot of attention are breakout rooms. And I know internally at Advisors, we use this extremely effectively on our sales team, where every morning in our morning huddles, we have a huddle and then we break out in rooms and we cross train with each other. And that's something that you could do as well if you're, let's say, hosting an event where it's more of a networking type event. And basically breakout rooms allow, you know, uh, let's say you have a room of 10 people, you can break it down into groups of, let's say, three, three, and four, or five groups of two, or two groups of five. You really get to decide. So let's say for hypothetically, I have 10 people, and I wanna do two rooms of five. 
what I can do is I choose two, and then I can assign uh, automatically, meaning Zoom is gonna do a random uh, mix, which is what we actually did not too long ago when we were doing a game uh, for the advisors team. We're doing a virtual team game of people all over the world, and we just randomly got assigned to different rooms. It was a lot of fun. Or you can assign manually. This is great for team building where you want people to work together in specific teams, or you can just let people choose what rooms they have. But let's say I'm gonna go ahead and assign manually. You wanna go ahead and create that. And then um, you have these two rooms. Now you could rename them. So you could do like team A if you're doing a team building activity and you could do team B, right? Um, then what you can do is you assign. So um, obviously I don't have anybody in this meeting right now, but if you click on this link, you would see the people who are in the meeting and then you simply assign and open all the rooms. And there you have it. There's actually some rooms that are open now in my Zoom meeting, uh, but nothing's going on. A really cool feature that uh, just came out also is the ability to share your screen to multiple breakout rooms. So this is really fun uh, where you can choose a screen and you can share it to breakout rooms. So let's say you have a slide and you want everybody to talk about the slide or you've got an icebreaker there. You could have everybody talk about the things that are on the icebreaker and the people in those rooms no longer have to worry about showing their screens. They can be very low tech and it's gonna work really, really well. Hey, was there a Zoom hack that you know that I missed? I would love to hear about it. Go ahead and leave it in the comments below and we're gonna do a drawing for a full blown green screen kit. Just go ahead and leave your best Zoom tip below and we'll go ahead and do a drawing in the next week and we'll announce the winners on a following training.